welcome to Pins and Things. Today we're going to be making homemade pumpkin pie with homemade whipped cream. To make it from scratch, you're gonna need some pans, a knife, your oven will need to be preheated to 400, and you're gonna need a pumpkin. Ah! I can't even get it in my sink to wash it off, so I have to cut it up first. Oh my goodness, I might need a chainsaw. <laughs> Oh. And this is just a regular pumpkin. It doesn't have to be a pumpkin pie pumpkin, the little ones. And this is so much better because it's cheaper and bigger, so you get a lot more for your money. This is a melon scoop, and I'm just using it to carve out the inside because it's sharp enough that I can get it pretty easily. Or you can use the pumpkin kit from the store. Now that they're all scooped out and clean, I'm just going to chop them into smaller pieces that will be able to fit onto my pans to cook. I'm just cutting out the middle piece because it's a lot harder to cut through this. <laughs> Once you've got them all sliced up and washed off, you just go ahead and put them in the oven for an hour at 400 degrees. This is how it should look when it's done. Gigantic and really easy to scoop. And that's exactly what you're gonna do. You're just gonna scoop it out. This is just exactly what you get out of the can, except it tastes so much better. And we actually ended up putting it in for about an hour and 20 minutes, just because this is really thick pumpkin. I just have a potato masher here, and I'm just gonna start mashing it just like mashed potatoes. And I'm just mashing it until there's no big chunks so that I can put it into two cup baggies and have it ready to go into pie filling. This is how it's looking and that's about what you need it to be because when you put this into the pie filling, you're going to use the blender. And doesn't this sound delicious? So our pie filling calls for two cups of pumpkin. So we're just gonna fill it up with our measuring cup. Put two cups in each of these baggies. And you're gonna need a pie crust. And if you want to see that video that I have of my mom's amazing, delicious pie crust, go ahead and look at it in the description below. We're gonna use two eggs and mix it together in a blender just because the pumpkin is not smooth yet. It's still kind of lumpy. This I've pre-measured into two cups of pumpkin and I just like to freeze it and then thaw it out in the fridge when I'm ready to use it. 3 fourths cup sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one half a teaspoon of ginger, one fourth teaspoon ground cloves, and one can of evaporated milk. That equals to one and two thirds cups of evaporated milk. Will it blend? And now you push the pumpkin pie button store because it's not hot. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> and then you just pour it in there. This is the real stuff, guys. This is the most delicious stuff ever. Put it in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes are up, you're going to want to reduce your temperature to 350 and then you're gonna cook it for another 45 minutes and now I just have put a fork in it to make sure that it's gonna come out clean and once it comes out clean it is done Ta-da! it's ready to go all cooled off and now we have our whipping cream and we're gonna go ahead and put it into our blender you can do this by hand but it takes a really long time so I'm using my blender and it should go pretty quick and this is just a pint of cream. So you can use Cool Whip if you want, but I like to make it from scratch just because it's healthier and I think it tastes better even. Just take a fourth a cup of powdered sugar and then just turn it on high and let it go for a few minutes and just keep an eye on it. You can tell when it's done because it will form stiff peaks and if you do it too much, it will turn into butter, so don't do that. But this is just perfect, the perfect consistency. So that's it to the whipped cream. It's super easy to make. It's so delicious and it's done. Look at how pretty. It's perfect and it tastes 
so much better. If you haven't tasted homemade pumpkin pie versus store-bought pumpkin pie, it's a night and day difference. And Michael will not even eat store-bought pumpkin pie. He's like, ew, I'm not gonna eat that. <laughs> His mom spoiled him. <laughs> Here it is. If you like this and you wanna see more of this type of thing, please subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video. Comment below and tell me what are some of your Thanksgiving recipes or traditions that you like to do for Thanksgiving. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook and the link is in the description below. And we also have more Thanksgiving videos coming your way, so stay tuned. And we'll see you guys next time. I would rather have pumpkin pie than a decoration on my porch. <laughs> Don't hurt me. <laughs>